We just have the latest information on who are the biggest electric car brands in the world. Who's selling more EVs? Who has more electric car market share than anyone else? And these results are quite interesting because it shows that BYD and Tesla, their rivalry is, it's really heating up. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Last year, this time last year, BYD was unquestionably not the biggest EV manufacturer in the world. I mean, a lot of the media said they were, but that wasn't true because they were including plug-in hybrids. But now things have changed. BYD and Tesla both have exactly 17% each of global EV market share. So they're equal first. That's based on the last, the third quarter of 2023. Probably likely that BYD will overtake Tesla in the fourth quarter this year. Now, of course, BYD do sell, you know, much cheaper EVs on average. Their transaction price is lower, but BYD have brought in some luxury cars as well. They've got their new Yang Wang luxury brand, which has some really, really nice cars. They've got a new supercar they now sell, the BYD Yang Wang supercar. They've also got um, their cheaper cars, which are selling really well, such as the BYD Seagull. It's one of their best selling cars and it costs around 12,000 US dollars. So you can see BYD, I mean, they have more than 20 different electric car models and their ramp up is insane. But it's worth me remembering this, still more than 90% of their EV sales are confined to China. So growth for BYD needs to happen outside of China. And this is a bit of a problem for them. It's happening well in Thailand and Australia, markets that are, to be honest, pretty insignificant. But in Europe, where things do matter, BYD is not finding the same success as it has in China. Anyway, Tesla is obviously facing some of its own challenges. Tesla hasn't grown at the same rate as BYD. Now, they have grown significantly. If you look at their actual sales figures, BYD and Tesla have they've improved enormously over the last 12 months. You might think otherwise because of a lot of the media's sort of disinformation campaign, clickbaity type articles. But as you can see from this chart here, both of them doing really, really well. They're going to both hit records this year. BYD will sell around 3 million cars. Approximately 60% of those will be fully electric. And Tesla will sell probably about 1.8 million EVs. For the 12 months for the entire year, it's still very likely that Tesla will outsell BYD in terms of total electric car sales. But for the fourth quarter, probably BYD will outsell Tesla with EV sales. I think what is also interesting here, guys, is these numbers. Now, the third placed EV seller in the world is the Volkswagen Group. But that does come with a caveat because 50% of a lot of those sales go to joint venture partnership brands. Now, BYD and Tesla don't have any joint venture partnerships. It's true that BYD does own the Denza brand, but it owns 90%. So, I mean, Mercedes-Benz owns 10%, BYD owns 90%. Uh, it's pretty close to BYD owning all of it, really. But the Volkswagen Group has several. In fact, it now has about four different joint ventures in Volkswagen. So when it sells an EV in China, 50% of those profits have to go to its Chinese joint venture. So while it's true that it's the third largest automaker in the world in terms of EV sales, I think you could probably fairly say that Geely is actually selling more EVs than it actually owns entirely itself. Anyhow, Volkswagen Group has grown from 7% market share last year in the same quarter, in the third quarter, to 8% market share this year. But the truth is here that... Um, BYD and Tesla, they're growing their sales at a faster rate than the Volkswagen Group. Fourth place, Geely. Geely has 6% global market share and it's grown from 5%. I think any growth when you get to this level is really a success because when you look at other companies here, you can see they're not growing. GAC is next. It's gone from 4% to 5%, but currently I believe GAC is actually selling more EVs over the last few months than Geely are. So it's worth looking at that. Then you've got, of course, Hyundai or Hyundai. They have 4% market share. And unfortunately, they haven't grown their market share at all. Their market share was exactly the same in the third quarter of last year. 4% last year, 4% this year, no changes there. Other than, of course, um, some of the other companies have increased their market share, whereas Hyundai or Hyundai have not. 
Sake is next. Sake has 4% market share. It has grown its market share from 3% to 4%. And of course, it owns MG. MG, uh, well, they have some really good, very affordable EVs. MG4, I mean, we all know about the MG4. You can see why it's selling so well. MG is actually considered to be, believed by Europeans to be a British car brand. So they're selling really well in Europe. Uh, actually, it's by far the best-selling Chinese car brand outside of China. Even now it sells BYD. So there's the sales numbers so far for the biggest manufacturers of EVs. As you can see, there's no General Motors. There's no Ford here. There's definitely no Toyota. There's certainly no Japanese automakers in this list. Not even remotely in this list. I mean, they're not even a next closest EV manufacturer. Uh, Mercedes-Benz and BMW sell more EVs than Toyota. Any other Japanese car company does. That gives you an idea of how Japanese car companies just they're not taking EVs all that seriously still. Anyway, there is still 39% market share left over for the rest of the world. So who has that market share? Well, the majority of that is actually Chinese car manufacturers. Companies like Xpeng, Neo, Leap Motor, and many, many, many others. In China, now 800,000 EVs are selling every month. So you can see how Chinese automakers are well, you can see they dominate this list and they're going to dominate it probably even more so over the next 12 months. Thanks for watching.